rehearsing for my last performance, there was an accident, and I suffered an electric shock that nearly knocked me out. Ah! All my insecurities about performing resurfaced. But I couldn't let that setback stand in my way. We are happy that you are alive. Becoming the butterfly has reignited a love I've had since I was seven years old. I found others modeled just like me and was welcomed into the choir's joyful noise. Joyful noise. Okay, that's church, that's religious. It made me feel safe, even in the hardest times. Car salesman of the year. She sold cars? This bleeding love has given me the highest of highs, but sadly led to the lowest of lows. As the butterfly, I am taking charge and reclaiming what I thought I'd lost, because this is what I was meant to do. This week, our guest panelist, Mr. Anthony Anderson. I wrote three words down. Soulful, mm. textured, mm. and honest. Ooh. That's what I felt when, when I saw you perform on the stage tonight. And, and, and that's all I want to say. Yes. Ms. Scherzinger, are you picking up on any clues? OK, so you have such a unique texture Mm. to your tone. I'm definitely getting maybe pop group vibes, someone from like Destiny's Child. I think I know who it is off of that voice. Who? Who? Say it. Michelle Williams. Yes. Oh, yeah. Michelle Williams? Yes. I think so too, based off that voice. What that got to do with London? Well, you know, the clues from last time, the London thing confused me. She felt alone um, and has a body like that. And those thighs that I am so jealous of. Like, I've seen those thighs, I've heard that voice. I agree, I think it's Michelle Williams. I, I disagree. I'm still sticking with uh, some of the clues from early on. Every week we've seen clues about London, so that's why I've been going with Leona Lewis. Robin got one. I mean, I'm sure she's won a Brit Award. Mm. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to get one more clue from the butterfly. Bring out the revealing item. Ooh. Do you guys really think that thing helps? I actually think it makes it worse. You guys ready for the revealing item? Yes! Woo. Oh, my gosh! What the heck what is the that? What the hell is that? A forensic kit. A forensic oh. kit? Doesn't make any sense. I once had the chance to choose life or death. She once had the chance to choose life or death? 
Wow. Okay. Um, you guys are gonna hate my guess, and it's yes. um, look. This is a Nora Jones song. I love Nora Jones. What if? All right, we've never done this on the show. What if it was actually Nora Jones singing a different <laughs> version of a Nora Jones song? Just what if? Just, just I just want to blow your mind, grapes. Nora Jones is your height. She's not six five. <laughs> and let me tell you. It could happen. You could have a singer of a song, disguise yourself as a butterfly, and then guest star on CSI or whatever. And then she came here and sang her own song, Drop the Mic. You're welcome. Great job, Dr. King. I'm just clapping because it's over. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one more time. Let's give it up for the illustrious butterfly. Love you, Nora. Good job singing your own song. The panel thought one of these celebrities might be the butterfly. Who do you think it is?